Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Episode 18 We made it to last episode, last episode. And today we're going for the solution And yeah <laughs> Welcome everyone, back to Pokemon Platinum uh, This is episode 19 now um, so today we're going through Celestion Ruins and the Old Tower, I believe it's called. <laughs> um, so let's go for a repel. Uh, you will need to come here uh, in order to complete the game. Um, it may not seem like it, but there's a Pokemon in here, which you'll need to see. So Firestone there could be used on Eevee to evolve it into Flareon. Uh, if you want to already guess, the Fire evolution. Um, so this guy, once we've made it to the top, uh, we'll talk to him again. I heard the hidden m m machine defog was somewhere in these ruins. It's just that I seem to be lost. What with everything looking the same. Now that I could use help there. But, yeah, this is something I'm meant to do. We've got this now. Top right. Bottom left. Top right. Top left. Top left, bottom left. So yeah, we gotta keep that in mind. But I'm going to try and get every every item on those stones. So I suggest you do the same, uh, if, especially if you've got an Eevee on your team. Uh, even if you don't, um, there's some Pokemon you could have on your team that may need some of these stones. Um, not as much as in like other games, had literally like a ton of Pokemon that evolve on water, leaf, and fire. But yeah. So there we go. Made past him. Alright. So this guy just got a, like a bronze ore. I don't really want to battle him. Um. And then what was it like? Bottom left, was it? Even. I don't even know. I'm just. Hey, there we go. There's a thunderstorm. So, <laughs> we now have fire, water, and thunder. But you know what that means? I think it's time to evolve Eevesta. Oh, now we gotta use another repel. So I'll go evolve Eevee in a minute. <laughs> I might not seem so excited, but I don't want to like give away which one I want to evolve. Uh, put in the comments which one you think I should evolve into right now. Uh, and you could be right. So there we go. I can't tell what that says. Oh, oh I kind of don't read unknown. <laughs> but, so... <laughs> So we could sell this at the shop for a lot of money. I can't remember the exact, but mine plate is gonna be very nice. The second grab in the back of the obtain in the back of the obtain plate. The beans were born to bind time and space. That will power up psychic time years old, definitely put that on PowerPoint. Odd in sense you can use that for breeding. I know, seems a bit weird when uh, you actually go on the bag. Um like, look, that thing's used for breeding. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It boosts the power of psychic time. So we got two. I thought that was to get munch sacks from snot. Anyway, this is what you want to come here for. This is defog. Um, trust me, you're gonna want to teach that to your like flying types. So, now we just gotta remember how to get it. That's obviously not the right way. But, what I want to say, the only... Ugh! A true in life of the unknown. There has to be a meaning. But it's significant to allude to me. And that got me cranky. There is only one Pokemon you can find in here. Unknown. Oh, 
probably my least favourite Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. It's like the worst Pokemon in existence for a reason why I'll tell you in a minute. It there's 26 versions of it. The alphabet, an exclamation mark, and a question mark. Once of course all of them I suppose just something will happen, so after this video I'll have to do that off screen. It'll take a while. But you know, I'm willing to do it for you guys. <laughs> I'm willing to do it for y'all. Um, so it, it'll open something up later on, and yeah, it's it's kind of worth it. <laughs> but I mean, if you have the time to catch 26 of them, um, as you're not always gonna, you could find duplicates and stuff like that. I've personally never done it. Um, I've done it like once. That was a while ago when I didn't even realise. That because I basically tried to catch every Pokemon and I realised some of them look different, so yeah. But unknown only learns hidden power. That's it. It stats are overall garbage and it doesn't evolve. If you're into a challenge, use this on your team. No, I don't even recommend it. It's terrible. <laughs> and the reason you want to come here. It's just to see it in your Pokédex. That's about it. You don't need Defog to complete the, uh, to you know complete the game, but I recommend it as it makes things a lot easier later on. But yeah, the real reason you want to come here is just to see unknown. Other than that, this Ruin Maniac is gone. I think he's a Ruin Maniac. It's something. But look. The hidden machine default was somewhere in the ruins. This is what I seem to be lost. What with everything looking the same. Now what? I could use help here. Hey, you lucky here. What you have there? That is the hidden machine default. Put it on it to me real quick. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, so I teach you my story over the hidden move default like so and duh. Thanks for my rescuer. Ha <laughs> ha, here you go. My thanks is promised. We get a green shard. The shards, we already have a couple of them from the underground and just randomly finding them. But, I just want to see if there's an item down here. But yeah, we can't really do anything with these shards just yet. But later on, you can learn some pretty cool moves with them. Other than that, we are doing Solution, Solution Ruins. And, you know what? I think it's time. Which one do you think I should use? Firestone, Water, Thunder. So, once your vote is down, this should be decided. Okay, I've decided. <laughs> it's Thunder. Sorry. We didn't really get to use Eevee at all. But, I wasn't really planning on using Eevee and not many level up moves we really could use to our advantage but yeah of all the types this one kind of we needed it the most and honestly I really like Jolteon we're gonna be outspeeding pretty much everything with this guy and there we go congratulations if you've evolved into Jolteon and with that let's j just in a couple episodes we'll be able to have some pretty cool electric type TMs but for now I'll teach him return. I suggest you do this if you're trying to go for Espeon or Umbreon. As you know how much like happiness uh, you've kind of got. And honestly, it's really nice. Um, so there we go. Return. It's just a good overall normal attack. Give you a little bit of coverage. Um, and plus I say you stick with quick attack and just keep it for the entire game. As it outspeeds everything with it, unless it's like kind of a Pokemon using Cookie Stack as well, and it's faster, but anyways, this is the old terror, I believe. So, let's use a repel. Um, unless we already have one on. Yeah, I didn't really get to see unknown, so it's not registered in the Pokedex, but I'll do that in a minute. So, anyways, this is Respirate's rest. rest. Please be quiet and respectful. Will do, even though I'm kind of running around in the graveyard. A couple of years ago, I heard, I saw Jay Witz's video on Lavender Town. 
and it, it kind of creeped me out. And I want, and then one day, I went to school. I'm not going to say his name, but he's my friend. Let's call him. Let's call him Jay. His name's not actually Jay, but. So I'm I'm meet I'll meet up with this guy Jay at the of the day. We put in our last up in the locker and everything. And I go ding 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 and he goes, No! You've heard it! And yeah. Honestly, we talked about that for like the rest of the year. And we I probably heard it first for like February. And then until literally the end of the year. That's we'd always Whenever we'd have the laptops, we'd just research and learn the most about Lavender Town. It, it was just so interesting, even though it kind of creeped us out. It was a nice feel. Um, so it's kind of when you get into like a good horror movie story, I guess. I don't really watch horror movies, <laughs> but I have watched them. Uh, I've watched like Paranormal Activity. Um, <laughs> it's not even scary. <laughs> so, yeah, but this place... A any other pla place in Pokemon never really, never really got to me at all. Like the old Chateau, the music I like it. I overall just like the music. So, <laughs> but it's just like the whole Lavender Town syndrome kind of thing. You know, like you gave people like s trying to kill themselves or something like that. But it was just a creepy plaster, and honestly. I might do a video on it soon. In the far future. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go there now. It kinda doesn't bother me, but it kinda used to. But as this Yeah, so the higher you scream into the DS microphone with chatter, depends on the, the, the chance of getting confusion with chatter. So if you literally just go Aah! Like, somehow, say you just took your DS in like, a tornado or something and it picks up the most air in the world and then every time you use, uh, chatter, you get confusion. So that'll be quite nice. <laughs> I don't, I don't suggest you do that. I mean, if you're crazy enough to actually believe me with that, <laughs> then, I mean, I guess, I guess you could do that. Just chucks his DS into a horror game. The, 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 the DS he was never found again. <laughs> no! Honestly, Barboat was just a Pokemon that I've actually never used, but I like him. Hey, you're no ghost. Who am I? Uh, anyways, so the Overstone here, I never understood uh, as a kid how what Pokemon it needed to evolve. Uh, that need that was to evolve. This is kind of where Defog comes in. You can use that and the whole Defog thing goes, but... Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we don't really need to use Defog just yet. Like, we could give it to Razor, but... Honestly, not really a fan. Oh, it's basically the new Flash. But I actually prefer Flash. Um, so, what I'm going to say is with Defog, you might see now, it's not as bad as Flash at all. But, before I talk about Defog, look at this guy's name. Roughneck Kirby! And there's Cleffa. I always remember this guy. <laughs> he's like a punk and then just has Cleffa and he's called Kirby. Out of, like, his name just Kirby, out of any Pokemon that could have gave him Clever. But Defog will, very, like, help you a lot. See, the fog's appearing in the battle as the darkness doesn't flash, which is kind of weird. We are unable to see our opponent, so it kind of reduces our accuracy by, like, half. I don't know the exact. But like, it reduces our accuracy by like 50%, so there's like a 50% chance that we'll actually like, land our attacks. That's why I always... I just want to have defog, but 
I'd never end up having it because on my team I'd have like a star, I'd be like a star doing stuff like that. And I didn't really want to use it. But if you have a spare flying type, as I don't, you could use that to your advantage. But yeah, this place is kind of full of it. You know what? I changed my mind. Razor, you can have it. I think we'll just get rid of sand attack. It kind of does the same thing, just lowering the accuracy, so. There we go. With that, we learn defog. Let's try it out. I will be able to get rid of this later on. I suggest you actually give it to one of your main Pokemon. Uh, like your flying type, so you got Staravia or something. As it honestly helps you a lot, and around the sixth gym later on, is where you'll be able to delete the move and then never need to worry about it again. But yeah, this isn't the only place we'll need Defog for, but yeah. Um, There's a place a lot worse than here with Defog. And in Dumber Pearl, Defog isn't as necessary um, as it is in Platinum. That's not every day, but you see a random trainer with a citrus berry. Alright, bon slide. Goodbye. Turn around. Bounce like goodbye. Goodbye, bounce like. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm stuck. Um. <laughs> so. Oh, wait, you have the amulet coin on? I was, I was wondering why there's so much money. I'm just gonna get this item. This is return. We get it back. We just use it on Jolteon and we've got it back. Alright. Who cares about the repel? Let's do this double battle. It makes no difference where we are. Do have Pokemon with you? I reckon you ought to battle. My Pokemon is a lovely one. Let me show you how much. I forgot in the last gym to do the guy's voice. It was like, Howdy, trainer. But... <laughs> I was watching, like, the Fantine episode. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot. I'm sorry. In the next gym, I'll try and remember to do that. But, but no, I'll stop worrying about it. I'll try and do it for the rest. Please don't flinch. Alright, purple and good. Now, as long as Precious doesn't flinch as well, then. Precious! Ah! Come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, I'm stuck. Um. No. Yes. Precious probably flinched again, didn't he? Well, at least there's only one opponent to deal with now. And we get a crit when we don't need it, obviously. Just my luck. Hey! A double stomp. Kind of gave us a double chance of having a flinch. But no. Precious, you deserve the experience. And so does PowerPoint. That PowerPoint gets to level 25. Ooh, and wants to learn Coal Mine. I will definitely learn this. So meditate just raises up our attack as well. Let's read out calm minds. The user quietly focuses its mind and calms its spirit to raise its special attack, special defense stat. You know what? We could have. Yeah, let's have meditate and detect. Uh, not detect, but get rid of detect and have meditate and calm mind. With that, raise also gets to level 23. I'm also learn faint attack. We'll get rid of knockoff. We used it in the gym leader fight, but honestly, fight attack's just better as it never misses, which is really nice. So, if you've got a Gligar like me, I suggest you learn that. But there we go. Then you won't need to worry about the fog or anything like that, as you'll always be landing the attacks. Didn't that repair wore off? Um, it wore off, didn't it? Um. So let's go put another one on. And let's use Defog again. We don't really need to, but... Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this! The Cleanse Tag. The Cleanse Tag. 
The lost towers were spirits of departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short, all the departed Pokemon shall find us here. I see what you're doing, because it's the Lyceon Town! <laughs> okay, I'm kind of being a bit disrespectful now. Oh, the fog is gone, and with it, oh, down in my heart, it's my face. Don't be shy, take it. The spell tag. I kind of forgot which one that was, but that Fantina. It's hard to tell what she's thinking, but she has a comparison eye. Hide. You now. She's a regular visitor. I remember what the clearance tag does. It kind of keeps wild Pokemon away. So, yeah. And I have to see how I'll Pokemon It keeps wild Pokemon away if the holder is the first in the party. And, yeah, boosts a pair of ghost like moves. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> so, with that, we're also done with the old tower. Before we end off, I think we should just battle these guys. These people decide to go on a date in a graveyard. Just have to point that out. Like, who does that? Honey, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to this, uh, like, Frank and Benny restaurant? Pizza Hut? Where do you want to go? Ooh, let's go to the graveyard downtown. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Another thing I find weird as well. Like, the Pokemon here land a lot, but we don't. Don't really understand that. I guess that's a thing. There we go. But as long as she's slightly inaccurate, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, and with that, Precious got to level 25 and nothing gets. Even though Jolteon can't attack this thing, we can go with it. Oh jeez, man, what a drown! Down? What? What? That kind of sounds like an insult. Um. <laughs> we didn't battle that guy. We battle everyone except for that guy. Sorry, guy, but you just not go for me. Uh. <laughs> Oh no, repel war off! Can we make it to the end? Yes! I, I like it how I'm saying this after, but you can actually get items on the tombstones. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I was gonna say a little bit strange, but I guess it's where they've put the. like, items for the dead Pokemon. But. yeah, one of them actually have a revive, like trying to use it on their Pokemon, but. What's the Pokemon for today? What? Uh, Cherim! I'm pretty sure we have a Cherubi as well, but... Mm. Yeah, I might, but... I want to do the whole thing with the unknowns off screen, so... Yeah, we got quite a bit done in this episode. Went through Celestion Ruins and the Lost Tower. Next time we're going through Route 210 and making it to Valsong City. You excited for that? Let me know. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.